video I'm going to show you how to set up and install and actually use IMPO which will help you diagnose your vehicle if you have any check engine lights er errors and the big benefit of using IMPO versus using just a generic uh, scanner is you will be able to actually see what the BMW error is and a lot of the times when you go get a generic code it doesn't tell you what the full problem is it might give you a little helpful hint of what the problem could be but that using IMPO will actually help you find out what the actual problem is with your car. So to get started, what I would recommend is go out and buy an IMPO cable. You can just search eBay or Amazon. It will come with the cable that you need. It will also come with, right here, it will come with some sort of CD and you'll be left with, inside the CD, you'll be left with these four folders saying step one, step two, step three, and driver DCAN USB. So to get started, I recommend using Windows XP. And if you don't have Windows XP, you can use uh, VMware, which I'm using right now. So to get started, you are gonna take these three, these four folders and copy them to the root of your um, computer, which is gonna be your C drive. And if you can't find these, if your input didn't come with these four folders, what I would recommend is just go online and type in IMPA. This will, it's all over the BMW forums, you'll find them. So. Step one is to copy all four of these onto your C drive, just the root of it. All right, so once that's done copying, you're going to open up step one, which is right here, and you're going to copy the folder that says EC apps to your, just the root of your C drive where these folders were placed. So once that's done, you're going to go to step one and open up the folder, and you're going to click on NFC, NFS, sorry and then you're going to click on this folder that says NPAT and then click disk 1 and then scroll down to where you see setup click on that and then leave it saying Windows NT click this is wider and that's yes or continue click it again click OK wait for that to install click the middle button again again leave it on user mode it should already be selected as user mode for all these options you shouldn't have to change it but I would just double check to make sure they're uh, highlighted and then click OK once that's done leave it on the first step which says number one next make sure it says OBD OBD make sure the first option is selected again the first one make sure it says IPO next and let this install click OK click OK again click again and click any key to continue and then right here um, I recommend restarting your computer, but since I'm just for the installation process to show you guys, I'm going to click no, but you should restart your computer right now. Alright, so once your computer is restarted, open back up to the root of your C drive, which is right here where you have all the step one, step two, and then click on step two, click on install, click on this exe file that says instaprog. Click OK right here, English, continue, continue. Make sure it says your C drive right here, and that because that's where you had step two. Click continue. Under these options, click BMW Group Rectification Centers, Rectification Programs UK. Under Idiobus 6.4.3, click update for IMPA, update and for NCS expert complete and then click continue and then click end when you're done sometimes it's kinda of slow and a little laggy right here when you're doing the installation and it just does this but it will eventually close out alright so here's all the programs that were installed and if you have an E46 I wouldn't do the next step 
I would skip over the next step of installing step three because if you look, if you go under all programs and then go under Idiobus IMPA and if you click IMPA IPO, which is how you're gonna scan it, you have E46. But when you do uh, step three, which updates IMPA to a later version, the E46 is not there. So if you have the E46, I would skip over step three and come back to the video when after step three is installed. So for everyone else that's continuing on, let's close this out. You're gonna go back to step three, which is in the root directory of your drive on, C, on your C drive. Click step three, install, and then instaprog exe again. Click OK, English, continue, continue, continue again. BMW Rectification Programs UK. And then here you're going to click update, and here you're going to click complete. And then click continue. Oops, sorry about that. And then under old NCS expert version, you're going to click rename and just rename it. I'm just going to rename it old. You can rename it whatever you want. Then click continue, continue, and let it install. So once it's done, click end. So now that you're done with that, it's time to install the drivers for IMPA so you can actually use it. So at this time, you're ready to install the drivers for your IMPA cable. So take your IMPA cable and plug it into a USB 2 port and remember which one you used. After plugging it in, you should be greeted with this window that says Hardware Update Wizard. And if you're not, just go Start, right-click on my computer, Properties, device manager go under where you see it which is right here and you would see USB serial port I can't have it because this window open but just right click on it and click update driver and you should be greeted with this window so once you have this window open you're gonna go no not this time next install from a list or specific location then click next again and then uncheck search removable media check include this location in the search click browse go to your c drive again so c drive click driver d can usb and then click driver okay and then click next and since i already have it it's um, installed so i'm just going to click finish and then what you're going to do is another window should pop open again just like it did and you're going to and if not, just go update driver, click no, not this time, next, install from a list, and this should already be selected this time, click next. Again, mine's not going to work because I already have it installed, but you have to do that, that step. You have to just do it twice. So after you have that step completed, you're going to click start, my computer, properties, then you're going to go hardware device manager find where you just installed it which would be under ports and then it's gonna say USB serial port right click on that click properties and then you're gonna go port settings advanced you're gonna change com port number see it says number three you're gonna change it to number one and if number one's already in use I'll show you what to do in a second but go down after you're done with that go down here to latency timer and change it from 16 to 1 and press OK and then press OK again so let's say number one was already in use down here this was let's say this was number one you can right click on it click properties and then go advanced and change whatever this COM port was to some it would be COM port 1 change it to something else and then come back here and you can set the serial port down here you can go port settings advanced and you can set that to COM port 1 okay 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 so once you have it set to COM port 1 you're going to go back into your root directory of your C drive and you're going to click driver DCAN USB and you're going to click OBD setup and just press any key to continue I like to do that twice just launch twice press any key to continue so now that you've done everything for the drivers and installation I'm going to show you actually how to use IMPA to scan your car for errors. So the first thing what you do is you want to take your laptop, 
and plug the first end into your USB port and with your car off plug the other end the end with the OBD2 port into your car and make sure input is running once input is running and you have it all up which I'll show you right now so if you go here all programs this and then uh, input IPO once input is running you should see battery and ignition both these should be lit up they should be both be lit up black in this case they won't be because I'm not connected to my car for filming the video's sake so make sure that both both of these are on and again make sure it's running and this is plugged into your OED2 port and your car is in position 2 so I'm going to actually show you how to scan your car and clear for codes so in this case I'm going to be showing you on an E46 since that's what I have so you can either click F3 or you can go down here and click E46 and then you're going to go engine, pick your engine. For most E46s, you're probably going to have the M54, which is exactly what I have, so I'm going to click M54. I'm going to get all these errors, and these errors basically mean that this, the transponder, the OBD2, cannot communicate with the input cable, so that's normal for me. If you're having that and connecting it, saying that your computer can't connect to the car, so I'm just going to press OK and then I'm just going to click no and then right here I'm going to go down to where it says F4 error and then I'm going to click F1 down here which is read error memory if you know if you already know what they are and you just want to try clearing just clear it you can just clear it right here but in this case let's say I don't know what it is I'm going to click read and then this should pop up for you you're going to and this should pop up you're going to get uh, error an error report and it's kind of nice because you can actually print out the error report if you want to look at it but you're gonna get a bunch of different errors a bunch of different BMW errors like one of mine said thermostat stuck open and it told me exactly what was wrong with it it was stuck open but let's say you want to just clear it you can go down to F2 clear you're not gonna get this and it's just gonna say error memory em error memory has been cleared and that's all you want to do and you're all set and now you know how to clear codes with input and read them and there are a lot more in-depth than a generic OBD2 reader. So I hope this helps.